outreach is, outreach is very important because I think uh, two reasons. Number one, that whole philosophy, if you build it, they will come, is just not true anymore. We have the ability to turn on a computer, an iPad, and whatever, and, and get entertainment the snap of our fingers and for free. And so we're, what we're asking people to do is buy the ticket, you know, get in their cars, park, get out, and sit in a, in a theater for, for three hours. So outreach in terms of getting out to people is critical. And, and also, I, am, I, I really believe that dance, the arts are transformative and very powerful, but I believe specifically dance is because it's something that's innate in all of us for the most part. You know, it's one of the earliest things that, that human beings um, did. So um, the two outreach programs that we have, and when I arrived, the company had no outreach. Zero. <laughs> Just I don't even know how it survived, but whatever. So that's another interview. Um, and so one is called Open Bar, which is a series that the company had where they would perform. We have a wonderful theater downstairs, up two studios combined that turned into a black box theater. And so the company would just use that as, and they would just run a ballet. And so I decided that I'd turn that series into kind of like a lecture demonstration so that I would talk or somebody would talk about they were seeing. So you talk about the art form, you can talk about um, the choreographer that's coming or the ballet that they're seeing or um, the music that they're listening to it. So they have, they have a thread, they're connecting to it on some level, you know, stories for example, and it's been very, very successful because they come, they, they see the dancers, they listen to an artist, they hear the choreographer, or they learn how, how work is made, or how it's re rehearsed, or how a dancer is trained. Just information that, that, that um, makes the dance relevant to them. Um, and then the ballet bus is, is brilliant for me. I mean, I just, I, I think it's, if I, if I say so myself, I just think it's genius. So the ballet bus, we talk about going into these underserved communities, um, which is so important because they don't have the, um, really the resources to come to us. But, but one, th one thing is making a commitment to them. In other words, if you're only, if you're only gonna go into a community once and get in front of a kid, it's not gonna make much of an impact. The, where it's going to make an impact if you make a 10-year commitment to them. And so what we, what we decided to do is to ha actually have a ballet bus that goes into these communities and we audition children between the ages, I believe it's 7 to 12, and we look for facility. We look for a child that can actually dance because I want a company in the end that's reflective of the community, that's representative of the community. So we look for the turned out legs and the feet and the musicality and the coordination, the simple things that you know a child needs to be able to, to train as a, as a dancer. And then we say we audition, we accept them, and then we give them a 10 year commitment. So we give them all the shoes, all the the, the tights, the leotards, the little ballet bag, um, counseling, and a snack. And we pick them up, the parents drop them off, and then we pick them up and we, at the location and we bring them here. They take their classes, and what we're working on now is taking them back to their parents, but for now the parents are come here and pick them up. And I can't even begin to tell you this is the first year um, and they love it, you know, they, they walk into this building, it, it gets them off the street, it, it, puts them, it puts them in front of other dancers that have, um, have a focus and, and, and a, another interest. Um, they're listening to music, they're making friends, you know, it's, it's, it does the same thing that a little league does. It's basically the same thing, but it's dance. Um, so that I'm actually really, I'm really proud of the ballet bus because it's, if you commit to us at the age of seven and you continue, we will do this for 10 years for you. So at 17, you can actually be a ballet dancer.